I'm Rick from Cartridge Classic Cars. Thank you for checking out my shop and my YouTube channel. The mission statement for both the shop and the YouTube channel are we're really trying to take some rusted out cars and we're trying to build them in the highest possible quality we can and be some of the nicest cars that people see wherever they go. We want these cars, after we're done building, to really last the next 60 to 100 years, longer than they already lasted in this state. We try to build cars that are better quality than the factory if we're allowed to, while also rust treating and preventing the rot that was in the corners cut really from the factories because they weren't really designed to last 50, 60 years. You'll see on this channel how we take these old cars, we cut them apart, they're braced up on frame tables and frame jigs, and everything's leveled out and squared up, and how I go about building a car that I know when it's done, it should be going down the road straight, it's not dog walking, and the quality will be there, and it'll be stronger than a factory built car. You could see a lot of times, we'll sit there and I'll show you the process on cutting the cars apart how we go about sandblasting both wet and dry, the processes of that, chemically treating rust on these cars, and other things to really make sure there's nothing left on these cars. I'm gonna show you how we go about modifying these cars, taking them from a state that almost has nothing on them, and you know we're starting with an inner structure and skeleton that's all that was left from rust, and building them back up to a brand new car. We mostly specialize in muscle cars, but I'm not saying you won't see a, another classic, a hot rod, some kind of uh, street rod on this channel. We Anything really that's geared around mostly the metal work. We do driveline installs and modification fabrication on custom drivelines. We do a lot of custom suspension works angles, everything else. We do custom exhaust, we've done air ride mounts, things like that, and other stuff in the metalwork world. We do specialize in mostly sheet metal replacement and fabrication. The process that we use for these things is MIG welding, TIG welding, and we have a factory spot welder. On this channel, I'm gonna show you each of those processes and why we use those processes on certain areas of the car to really get an all around better design as far as you know with the spot welder we're going to use it here because the factory used it and why we go about doing it why we use the tig welder on external panels as most as we can and then the mig welder in all other situations so we'll tackle those issues on this channel on multiple videos and why we go about doing that i'm going to show you how we really take a car from a bare bone structure to really when it's all said and done we have it mocked up ready for paint and body and the panels are gapped better than factory everything's level looking down the car and really they're sealed up in just an epoxy primer most everything in this shop has no filler on it right now it's just all the bare metal car when you have the bare metal car as it is right now you really can save yourself a lot more money in the paint and body phase not only can you save yourself in the paint and body phase you can know when it's done right how I feels the right way again everyone has their own theory on what the right way is and I'm trying to explain that on this channel how I came about finding this way but when we get everything sealed up in epoxy and all done what I feel is right when we put paint and filler and everything on these cars we're using less of it so you're gonna spend less time on the paint and body then we don't have to worry about a paint bubbling from the rust coming from the inside out on these cars three, four, five, ten years down the road. So the idea is you spend the money one time, we build a quality car, all straight as the owner wants, and really the cars are gonna last forever if they're taken care of. I'm gonna show you on this channel how the cars start when they come into this shop. We're gonna also do kind of videos where some are geared more toward a technical aspect, where if you're a builder of these cars, I'm gonna sit there and show you, this is how I do it, or you're at home trying to build your car, and why I do it this way, and I'm open to constructive criticism and feedback. If you're a builder too, or you've done something at home, and you're building these cars, and you run across something, feel free to share it with me. I might be able to change my process, we're all growing 
growing in this grand scheme of car building. I'm also going to try to gear some other videos towards people that are just interested in these cars. If you see these cars and this is the muscle cars you're into and you just wonder how they're built and you just like watching videos of stuff being restored, I'm going to show you in a more of a time lapse on certain videos how we just build these cars, you know, a couple videos and you can watch it. The third person I think we're going to try to gear the channel for is a person that has one of these cars. It's been sitting in a barn, a field, anywhere for 20 years. They've always wanted to restore it and they don't know where to start. So they're looking for a shop. I'm going to show you why choosing maybe possibly my shop might be a way to go because this is the product we turn out or if you decide on another shop I'm going to show you the questions to ask that shop hey you know how do you do this and when the shop says they don't do it ask them why and hopefully you have a better understanding on how the whole restoration process happens usually I want everyone to understand on these old cars usually once you open them up they usually get a lot worse than they are I show that many times on this channel we'll show it some more you get a car from the outer skin it will look all right it doesn't look that bad why are you restoring this car and once we start cutting back and peeling back the layers of filler paint covering rust everything else you'll see how bad some of these cars get so in general that's how our channels geared towards um, thank you for everyone that has gave input and has followed along over the last year or two this channel has really grown a lot larger than i ever could have imagined and it's really all the support from everyone else thank you very much for that again if you haven't again and you do like this kind of content please like comment and subscribe to our channel it really helps us out and grows even more um, if you have any questions and you want to reach out to us or my shop, the email is CarthageClassicCars at gmail.com. Reach out, ask me a couple questions. If you're interested on for us doing a car for you, uh, we're a buy appointment shop. You come out, take a look at the shop, ask a couple questions, find out our process and how it works. You see the outcome. I believe most of the cars really are top notch in every way. That's what we strive for. We're always striving every day to be better than the last build. So thank you again. I hope you like the videos. We'll put out as much as we can without sacrificing quality of the work and the editing too so like i said we'll see you on the next one i'm rick from cartridge classic cars have a good day